Hi there, uh, Brian Bram from Eagles Wings Community Church in Robbinsdale, Minnesota once again. Uh, coming at you with uh, sort of a, a new blog on uh, tithing and giving, probably my most exegetical blog. I'm excited to have you read it. Uh, I put a lot of time and, and uh, work into it and uh, based really on a long-standing conviction that I've had regarding the topic of tithing. And there are basically two arguments for uh, for tithing. One, of course, is that tithing uh, still should exist, uh, should still be taught as a doctrine. And there are some uh, benefits of uh, a congregation that tithes. Uh, first of all, uh, if, if uh, people are tithing, then there definitely uh, is ample uh, finances to sort of help the church to remain financially stable. And of course, that money can go a long ways towards uh, helping people in need. Uh, and then, of course, it uh, also promotes a disciplined giving. So those are some of the benefits uh, regarding if tithing still uh, should be taught as a, as a New Testament doctrine. Uh, for the folks that uh, believe that tithing no longer applies, there are some benefits uh, on that side as well. One, of course, is that uh, it seems to lead to sort of a freedom of the individual rather than uh, giving uh, begrudgingly uh, their, uh, and out of obligation. Uh, it, second of all, promotes uh, more of a, a cheerful giving. So a couple of uh, uh, advantages with that viewpoint. Uh, while I definitely value a diversity of thought, and as a matter of fact, that's the theme of our church, a, a diversity of thought, um, I, I definitely take a strong stance on this issue. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of evidence uh, regarding the stance that I've taken, and I'm excited to see uh, what your comments and, and thoughts are on, on the topic as well. Of course, as always, we'd love to see you at our discussion group, whether it be online or whether it be uh, in person. Uh, we'd love to have you, and you can find out more information on our discussion groups uh, on our blog site. So blessings to you, and I hope you enjoy the blog.